Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing another pick a card. So if you clicked on this video, your intuition guided you to this video. So we're gonna see whatever group you are drawn to. So I'm just gonna put the clip up here. So we have group number one with the emerald, group number two with the sugar light, and group number three with the smoky quartz. So today we're just gonna be doing a general message. This could be love, this could be career, this could be general. We're just gonna see kind of what message wants to come out. So please choose your group and let's get started. Also, please feel free to pause the video if you need some extra time. All the time stats will be down below and let's get started with your reading. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. So if you guys chose the emerald, this is going to be your group. So let's have a look and see what the emerald says. There is a nice little description on the back. So if you guys want to see uh, what this is all about, then please feel free to just pause the video and just have a look at it in a little bit more detail. This is for people who, when you're temporarily lost the courage to love or be loved, when you're in need of a total refresh, open your heart to limitless possibilities with emerald. Point your heart towards grace. So emerald is obviously about the heart chakra. It's got the green, it's got the bluey energy to it. I mean, this card is quite earthy. The actual like colors, it's quite bluey, it's quite green. So it's a little bit of combination. So if you guys who've chosen group number one, you may be feeling kind of lackluster with your love life. You might be feeling really down in your love life. You might be feeling like you can't really hold on to love in terms of like, am I ever gonna find someone? Or is my relationship gonna work out? Obviously, depending if you're single or not single. Those of you who are single especially, I feel like you guys may have gone through a breakup or maybe going through quite a difficult situation in terms of love. So I feel like for you guys, it may be quite difficult to kind of process the emotions right now and just know that it is gonna be okay and everything will be resolved, okay? So that is in terms of the emerald. And it says here that to put it on a chain over your heart. So this is definitely to do with Venus, it's definitely to do with love, it's to do with all of those kind of love energies. And I feel like for you guys, in terms of a total refresh, I feel like this is to do with yourself as well. If you've been feeling really down about yourself, if you've been really kind of judging yourself and thinking, I can't do this, I don't know what to do, I feel very sad, I feel really intense, like what are all these feelings? And a lot of the time we can have emotions build up and they can like slowly release after, after time. So for you guys, you might be having this really big build up to actually go through a really big transformation. So we're gonna have a look and see that in a little bit more detail. It kind of reminds me of, as it being Emerald, it reminds me of the Emerald City. And it kind of it kind of reminds me of Emerald, the Emerald City from Wizard of Oz. So I feel like for you guys, it's kind of like finding that thing that you really wanna find. And it's kind of like it's out of reach. You know, I've gotta go through all these different tasks to kind of get where I wanna go. And also if you guys who have gone through a breakup or something really, really stressful recently, possibly a death in the family or something like that, just know it will get better guys. And honestly, these things do happen for a reason. Obviously I'm not saying that it's easy and sometimes it, it is really, really hard. But at the end of the day, when you, you do go through these things, you realize, wow, like that made me stronger. That made me into the person I am right now. Okay, so let's have a look at your next card. We have Bear, you are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. So if you guys, you might be feeling really, really sad about who you are. You might be feeling, okay, well, I'm not good enough. Am I ever gonna get this job that I really, really want? Am I ever gonna find the career that really suits my energy? I feel like for you guys, it's really focusing on like refueling yourself, whatever that means for you, whether that's watching your favorite film, having a day off, kind of being away from the kids if you have children. It's kind of making sure that you know that you are the light and you have this potential to get where you wanna go. It's just being really gentle with yourself and knowing that you do have the capabilities to get there. And it's really not judging yourself on what you can't do and really focusing on what you can do. And I feel like with the bear, it's really interesting because I feel like bears are so cuddly, but they can also be really scary. So for you guys, it kind of depends on how you're feeling about a situation. You might, you probably most likely have a really, really big heart, but you're kind of pushing people away or pushing, trying to push the situation trying to push the situation away where you really need to look at the situation and think what is this teaching me is there anything that I can physically do so I can really be in my own energy and I can really fulfill what it is I need to fulfill in this moment because a lot of the time things come up most of the time things come up for a reason so we can actually look at the emotion and see okay what is it that is actually stressing me out or making me feel 
incomplete and sometimes it just takes a talk with a friend or a talk with a family member to just realize oh okay maybe I need to switch it up a little bit or maybe there's something that I need to refocus my energy because a lot because a lot of this energy right now is very very negative it's very intense and it's bringing up a lot of our darkness so I feel like for you guys it's really important to focus on the light side the positive side and really focus on what you can do and what you can do in this situation so that's really really beautiful so the next card we have is judgment and we also have the lizard which is really really cool so if you guys i really feel like the judgment and the lizard here are showing me that you guys have been through quite an intense process you've kind of been through really strong heat of things you've gone through a lot of situations where you've had to really think on your feet and i feel like there's been a lot of destruction in your life maybe recently or quite long ago and you're still kind of processing those emotions and i feel like with the judgment card it's really showing us that there's something that's being resolved there's a time that it's a divine plan everything is working out for you everything is working out so you can manifest what it is you want to manifest and the judgment is showing me that you are reaching out for something that you possibly can't grab yet but it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen it just means that there's a divine timing for everything and that this will change and you will get the divine timing that you want you will get the divine thing that you want it's just a divine timing and also when the judgment card comes out it's a really good card because it basically shows you that there's a massive, massive change on the horizon and there's definitely a time for you to actually get what you want. It's actually it is coming. If, there, if you're waiting for something and it's taking a long time, just know that it is coming, especially to do with love. If you guys are single or you're having a really hard time in a certain relationship, just know that it will change. It all starts with you though. It all starts with your own emotions and how much value you have within yourself and how much you treasure yourself and how much you love yourself and how much boundary how many boundaries you have as well like how much you want to put in your boundaries and how much you really want to give to the situation because at the end of the day especially if you're dealing with someone toxic you want to make sure that you're not entertaining that person out of it's normally because we feel scared that we're not going to have anyone else or we're not going to feel complete on our own and a lot of the time you just got to really work on what that emotion is and what that's bringing up within yourself okay the lizard is also showing me that this guy can handle a lot of heat and a lot of cold. So for you guys, you can you can do this, okay? You can really handle this situation, whatever you're going through, and know that you are built for this, okay? And it may not feel like it. You're like, Vicky, I don't want to do this, <laughs> you know? But at the end of the day, sometimes we just have to go through things. And you've got to give yourself the credit, you know? You've, you've gotten this far, and at the end of the day, you just got to do things that really help you through the situation and try not to numb the situation out with kind of distractions, making sure, obviously distractions are good if you feel the need to distract yourself, 100% do it. But if you feel like there's something that you need to do and you're avoiding it, I feel like this is definitely the push to say, do it, okay? Especially if it's to do anything toxic, any sort of toxic relationship or anyone who really doesn't deserve your energy. Because at the end of the day, we can really stop ourselves from feeling things, especially when we're in relationships that really don't serve our energy. Okay, so let's get you some more cards. We'll use some more tarot and we're gonna see what else wants to come out for you guys. So let's see what the judgment card's all about. Let's see what's coming on for you guys. So the next card out we have is the Ten of Swords, which is really, really beautiful. This is a massive, massive amounts of change. This is you guys thinking, I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I've had enough and I, I can't deal with this anymore. So that's changed a few. Oh, that fell on the floor. So we have the Sun card, which is really beautiful. So this is showing me that you guys are right on the verge of something changing, okay? You are right on the verge of something changing and coming into something really super, super positive, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this card. It's so stunning. So really, really changing up what is happening for you guys. And I really feel like things are just really shifting for you. So don't be afraid to really dive into this, whatever it is, and know that you do have the potential because for some of you guys, if you're single there's somebody around you that really wants your attention. And this is somebody who's really, really determined, okay? This feels like a new energy. I don't feel like this is somebody that you guys are actually entertaining now. This is somebody that most of you haven't really already met yet. This could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And it feels like somebody who, okay, there's another card underneath. Um, <laughs> we have the King of Pentacles as well. You guys are really gonna meet someone amazing, okay? So if you guys are single, especially those of you who are single, massive amount of change for you guys oh my god ignore my nails by the way i have dye underneath them i've been dying clothes so <laughs> um so i really feel like for you guys it's like a massive shift for you guys and 
with these two kings like that is insane so i feel like for you guys there's just a massive change and also in money as well like the fact that we have the king of pentacles is a massive change in money so if you guys are struggling with money or you're thinking i don't know what's happening i don't know or i don't know where i'm going to meet my person most likely you're going to meet them through work or for a money endeavor okay let's get a couple of more cards let's get some astrology cards let's see let's see more about what's coming for you guys what's coming for group number one please coming to group number one okie dokie so we have four cards here we have the sixth house of service the ninth house journey we have mars and we have pisces so if you guys you might be a pisces you might have pisces mars um but we also have this energy of like moving forward through what you're physically doing with action so as long as you're taking action towards your journey as long as you're still putting in the work as long as you're still doing all the work towards your mental health towards your spiritual work cleansing yourself you're really work i feel like i've got something on my back that's really strange some of you guys are really working on your heart chakra because it's like right behind my heart so that's really interesting so i feel like for you guys you've been on a really big journey okay and keep doing what you're doing because it's working a lot of you guys especially who are in service jobs who are, are nurses who are in emergency services or who are just healers or some or people who just genuinely want to help you guys are the main people who are have chosen this group i feel because you guys really just want to find your person and i feel like for a lot of you guys i can see that happening i can see you guys really putting in forward action to get where you want to go and for a lot of you guys you could be meeting a pisces soon as well and this feels also that you're connecting with your intuition so for those of you who, who you felt like your intuition is just really not there at the moment, just recognize that intuition goes up and down all the time. It ebb and flows and it's not a straight line. Spirituality definitely is not a straight line. So if you guys are really struggling with that kind of ebb and flow situation, you're like, my intuition is not there. Um, a few tips for you guys. If you are dealing with a toxic relationship or any sort of toxic situation that can affect your intuition because you're basically pushing yourself away from yourself and you're like no i'm not important because i want to entertain this person and if that person is not on your wavelength you're going to be pushing down who you really are but also it can be that you need to take a break you need to smudge yourself you need to get a crystal and just like cleanse your aura it can be various different things sometimes it can literally mean just take a break and come away from distractions as well and just take at least five minutes for yourself listen to nice music or listening to silence and just meditating because meditation really brings you into an energy of spirituality and it just brings you into an energy of joy and happiness and spirituality creates that space between the human mind and the spiritual world and you just need that little bit of space in between where the meditation happens and that's where you can get messages come through and i feel like your, your guides are really around you as well who've chosen this group so thank you so much for uh clicking on this video guys i really hope it helped you and if you have clicked on this video, know that your intuition is there <laughs> and it is very fully aware and you are very fully aware and it is guiding you to help you through this situation, whatever you're going through. So sending you lots of love, guys. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. My jewellery shop is down below. I'm working on some new pieces. So if you'd like any piece or jewellery or crystal, or you can also rec request a custom piece as well and I will do that for you. So thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what your intuition wanted you to know today. So we have the card of the Sugar Light. This is a really gorgeous crystal. So with this deck, this these crystals can look different. I feel like Sugar Light is more of a whiter color. I think it depends on the crystal. Honestly, it really does because nature is very random. But I feel like with this this crystal here, basically, it says, "Who needs it? Anyone planning an escape from the convite?" <clears throat> wow throat chakra energy right there anyone planning an escape from the confines of space and time so when to use it when you're called to take your spiritual practice to another level it's easy to stay it's easy to stay stuck in something that isn't working there's a comfort to safe and status quo but there's an unknown out there with unlimited blissed out blissed out possibilities ask sugar light to light the way there stretch the limits of your imagination so if you guys want to um pause the video and have a little read of that then please feel free that's going to give you a little bit more information on what sugar light does as well so this is really really beautiful sugar light says here that it's electric magenta void void black a vibrant purple so i feel like for you guys 
this crystal here is showing me that you guys are really connecting with your intuition, which is funny because this video is all about intuition, so that's great. So I feel like you guys are really connecting to your crown chakra or you're being urged to connect to your crown chakra. There's various ways to connect to your crown chakra. You can meditate, you can cleanse your aura, go out in nature, eat good food, like green foods, like green foods, like really healthy foods. <laughs> Um, for some of you guys, you eat a lot of sugar, so that could be um, a really big sign for you guys to just connect to your heart chakra and just really recognize what it is that you're missing in your diet and ask your intuition, okay, what is it that I need to add to my diet? And also for a lot of you guys to drink a lot of water, I feel like that will really help. So that is really, really beautiful. Some of you guys could be a Pisces and really picking up on because the fact that we have anyone planning an escape from the confines of space and time literally i feel like that is pisces right there and also sagittarius i'm picking up on as well so you guys might be a pisces or a sag you don't have to be but if you are then that is you so let's have a look and see what else we have beautiful we have a change is coming i love this card so whenever we have a change is coming this is obviously meaning a change is coming so the raven is a really deep intense animal i feel like ravens are very much to do with that scorpionic energy of transformation any sort of kind of black animal I feel like is very much to do with that darker energy in a good way it's kind of like the deeper parts of us that we kind of want to push away so I feel like for you guys this is telling you that there's going to be a massive change coming and you might be thinking mm, don't believe it <laughs> just trust me there are the, the guides on my guides and your guides are really connecting today and they are saying that a change is coming okay <laughs> so there is definitely a massive change within the moon as well so I feel like you guys could be very connected to the moon and there's definitely an element of like a wave coming, a massive, massive wave coming and things just washing over you and feeling like really overwhelming, but also really, really good. It's kind of like the waves have just been like, you know, slowly crashing, you know, just really chill and then boom, like a massive wave is like coming over you in a good way. It's like all the things that you've wanted to manifest, all the things are coming that you've really wanted, okay? So the next card out we have is a dragonfly and the seven of wands. So the dragonfly represents transformation. This here is showing us that the throat chakra is here as well. And we also have the masculine of the, uh, the triangle kind of going downwards. Pretty, actually no, sorry, that's the feminine. So the, we've got the downward triangle of the feminine. So you guys are really working on your feminine energy. You're working on your throat chakra. You're working on really speaking your truth. So obviously as this is a general reading, just take it as it resonates. Um, we do have the seven of wands here as well. So you guys might be trying to push away something or somebody out of feeling scared because you guys are going for a massive transformation. So just be really, really gentle with yourself. And I'm gonna pull some tarot cards in a minute and just kind of clarify what this is, what this is, because we're gonna see kind of what's gonna happen after the transformation. Because I feel like this is the current energy right now. I feel like a lot of you guys are going through like a really intense transformation and it's really creating a lot of havoc in your life, but it's actually good. It's, it's creating space for you to really open your heart chakra, open your throat chakra. And really learn to just be in your own energy so you can really just connect to who you are. And the dragonfly is a very gentle energy, especially it depends on the colour of dragonflies. So look out for dragonflies in your life. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a physical dragonfly. It can be like a picture or like an emoji. I don't know, is there a dragon emoji? A dragonfly emoji? I think there is. I think there is. Um, yeah, I really feel that. I'm also drawn to this card here that's on the top of this deck. Oh, Aventurine, that's beautiful. So we also have Aventurine here as well. So Aventurine is to do with the heart chakra. Excuse my fingers if they have dye on them. I've been dyeing some cloves. So we have green Aventurine and this says, when to use it, when you find yourself in a crisis of confidence and it's time to wake up, clean up and re-up your shine, show off your sparkle. So this is really good. Green Aventurine is also a crystal of luck. So this is the change coming. I feel like you guys are gonna come into luck. And I feel like this is a lot to do with your heart chakra. This is to do with what I deserve, what I want in my life. And actually that self-love energy coming in and really helping you to manifest what it is that you want. Because if our heart chakra is kind of closed off, because I'm, I'm feeling a lot of you guys that have this like cross over your heart. Maybe you feel like things aren't gonna happen for you. Things aren't gonna come in. But I feel like there's a lot of like change that's going to happen. There's like a shift that's going to happen for you. And it says it's a heart-centered, happy-go-lucky vibes are a reminder that this life on earth experiment is supposed to be fun. So if you guys ex experimenting with things that are fun, it's going to really help you guys as well. And I just love this combination of the blue and the, and, sorry, and the purple and the green. Because I feel like those two come really get really well together. And also the more we open our heart chakra, the more our intuition can really kind of come into um, our life and really help us in our situation all right 
So let's get another tarot card and let's see what is coming for you guys. And let's see, let's just clarify that card there. Let's see what's going on. All right, this is great. Okay, this is great. So this is a general reading and I love that we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So for a lot of you guys, this is gonna mean various different things. If you guys have been wanting a new relationship, I feel it come in. If you guys have been wanting a new career change, I feel that coming too. I hear in the song, I feel it coming, <laughs> that one um, from The Weeknd. I love that song, it's such a good song. So I feel like, listen to those lyrics and see if they resonate with you. But I feel like for you guys, it's definitely acknowledging that this change is gonna happen and it's coming, okay? You guys are going for a really big transformation, okay? And after this transformation, you may be pushing everything away because your heart is really being affected. Your heart is going for a lot right now. Like your emotions are really being like revved up. And if you're feeling sensitive, just know that's okay, that's normal. And this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Wands is showing me that after this situation that you're going through, after this transformation, you're gonna get passion, you're gonna feel comfortable, you're gonna feel like you can really be in your own energy and you can really manifest what it is that you want. And I do feel for a lot of you guys, you're gonna manifest a job that's going to be your passion. It's gonna feel really comfortable for you and it's gonna feel like I am in my own energy. And it can also be about reclaiming your power. Like I feel like the Ace of Wands is also reclaiming your power. And also it can be love and relationships. It can be finding somebody who really just is your match of energy. So obviously, oops, the card drops on the floor. So obviously this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find this reading, it is for you. So I'm just gonna pull a couple more cards see what else we have we have the death card which makes so much sense um the first card we had out is the strength the seven of wands sorry seven of swords and the death card so this is obviously saying things are changing it's just a matter of time as to things really coming forward and you guys may be thinking okay well when is this going to happen divine timing people divine timing is going to happen at divine timing and the strength card is showing me you guys have been through a lot, okay? And the strength is worth it. The strength that you have, you have it, okay? You may feel like you don't have it right now, but you do have it. And the Seven of Swords is showing me that this person here has been through enough. They're like, I'm done. I'm gonna drop my swords and I'm gonna walk away. Like, for you guys, you might have been dealing also with a toxic relationship or a toxic situation that you also felt like possibly was taking away your energy. So for you guys, especially those of you who are empathic, who are very sensitive, just really make sure you have like black onyx around you or something if you are have been dealing with quite a bad situation because you may need to just detoxify a lot of that old emotion because that can stay with us for a lot of time. But especially because we have the death card, this is showing us that there's definitely an ending to this cycle. So if you feel like you've been going round and round and round in circles, no more, no more of that. <laughs> All right, so let's get to see the astrology and let's see what's coming for you guys. What is coming for my lovely group number two, please? What's coming for my lovely group number two? Group number two. I feel like you guys need to sing as well. I'm getting like, I need to open my throat chakra. It feels like you guys have really been stuck around your heart. Like I can't express myself. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know if you guys are starting sign language, but I'm getting a lot of stuff around the hands as well. Okay, so we have Virgo. There could be an element of control, needing to feel like you need to control a situation. Um, but also it could be to do with the fact that you guys are just very empathic. You could have Virgo in your chart, rising, moon, sun, Venus, all that jazz. And it feels like there's definitely something happening for you guys. So the recent full moon could have really kind of affected your energy. And I feel like this full moon is showing me that you guys are coming into a much more stronger time than yourself. You're recognizing your power. Virgos definitely do have trouble with self-esteem. I know that because I'm Virgo rising. So there's definitely a self-esteem thing here and realizing that you are good enough because Virgos can be really frigging hard on themselves. And doesn't you don't have to be a Virgo to relate to this. I just feel like genuinely this is the energy that's kind of coming off these cards. And especially because we have the full moon, this is showing me that you guys are coming around to a new cycle and things are really, really shifting. So whatever has happened in the past, you guys are really starting a new cycle and that is gonna help you. All the things that you've learned so far is going to help you get to where you want to go okay and we also have underneath transformation card which is really beautiful i love that so much um this is all about obviously that scorpionic energy the eighth house so things that have changed things that are changing things are changing and you're going to get a new cycle coming in okay so last two cards out 
we have our Mars and then we have Transformation. I shuffled, I shuffled. So Transformation obviously is really coming in strong. I love that. This is, this is showing me that you guys are making the effort to go through this transformation. And it's showing me that when you come out of this transformation, you guys are going to have so many things that you didn't think you were going to have. Like you're gonna feel so much more freer and you're gonna feel like, oh my God, I can actually do something now. Like for a while you couldn't do things for, for quite a long time. And it might have been the virus and things that have stopped things happening in your life. But it could also be that things were quite slow before that. So it feels like this is just a massive shift and you can really, it's also passion. Like Mars is about passion, it's about drive, can be about the uh, sex drive as well. So for you guys, you might be getting that back as well. And also maybe connecting with somebody who has quite a high sex drive as well. So that is your reading. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like a private reading with myself, then please look in the description down below. Um, all the information to book a reading will be down there. Also, if you guys would like to have a look at my crystal shop, I'm selling crystals, I do custom pieces. And also if you want like a customized piece that isn't on my shop, just message me and we can get that done for you. And I'm also gonna be bringing in some new things in my shop very soon. So thank you so much for being here, guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So for those of you who chose Smoky Quartz. So Smoky Quartz, just on its own, absolutely beautiful crystal. It is really good for avoiding negative energy. It's really good for creating that depth between you and another energy. It's really good for grounding, especially for those of you who are water signs. You guys can be overthinkers, I know, because I am one. So I feel like for you guys, this is gonna be really, really helpful. So it says on the card here, it says, people who need it, glass half empty types, space cadets. When to use it? When you fall prey to emotional vampires. Yes, exactly. When you're just too spacey and can't even. When you're embarking on a spiritual journey or a journey to pick up your dry cleaning. Extra points if you're thinking, what's the difference? Arm your spiritual warrior. So this is for you guys who just need some grounding. I feel like for you guys, because especially for those of you who just feel, who are very empathic, it's really important for you to just get that space and to really just kind of have that space between you and another energy and it could doesn't have to be another personal energy it can just be that you guys are going through quite a big transformation and you just need some support so if you guys would like to get any sort of customized crystal jewelry on my website and i do have those um um spooky quarters available on there as well just to let you guys know so if you guys uh, look at my website and think oh i want a piece that's like this if this certain crystal and it's not being sold then please just message me because i love doing customized pieces for you guys and if you guys would are ever interested in that then we can have a little chat and sort that out for you guys so anyway now I've finished plugging myself <laughs> um so smoky quartz we have luck all your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. So for you guys who have been feeling really, really down, stressed, kind of like, okay, what's the frigging point? This is the group for you guys, okay? Um, this is showing me that you guys are, have got luck. You guys are going to manifest, you guys are gonna manifest what it is you want. It's just a matter of time. And also it's kind of like I'm seeing you prepping yourself. It's kind of like I'm seeing a suitcase and it's just open and you're just chucking all these clothes in just to prep yourself for this journey. That is what you're doing. And all those clothes representing like emotional changes, transformation, letting go of that person, bringing in that person. It's kind of like all these different things emotionally and spiritually, that's what you're doing. And the universe is like preparing you for the next stage, which I really, really love, okay? So next card out is we have the gazelle. The gazelle is a very gentle creature. This is the this is the card of fire. So if you guys are a fire sign, then that is extra clarification for you. It's also showing me that the sun is coming up. And for you guys, it could also mean that things have been feeling really hot and intense and like you can't kind of focus and you're really struggling to kind of go where you need to go. Um, it can also mean that you guys feel like you're running out of time, which you're never running out of time, guys. We're all meant to go through certain things so we can manifest what it is that we need. And sometimes it can take longer than normal. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but it is definitely, you are on the right track, okay, guys? So also the gazelle, whenever I get this card, I feel like the sort of person that would get this card is someone who's very de delicate, very sensitive, very, very empathic, someone who could pick up on other people's energies. So I feel like for you guys, you need to remember that you are your own person and not to be controlled by anyone else. 
And the gazelle is showing me that you may feel quite vulnerable at the moment, just emotionally, you're not kind of sure why you feel vulnerable. Just know that this is a process and this is something that you're just having to go through just to work through it. And the gazelle is also a creature that is kind of preyed on a lot in the wild by lions and like larger animals. I'm hearing a message is coming in for you guys. I've got a really itchy ear and then I heard there's a message coming in for you guys. So you guys might get a message from somebody or you might, yeah, you might get like a text or something. That's what I'm hearing. Um, but also with the gazelle, it's kind of like the ears are always kind of like twitching and they're always kind of like looking around to see if there's any, any, any animal preying on them. That is kind of the energy here. It's kind of like you may feel like you don't have trust in the universe, like you have to always be on your guard, like, oh, I don't know if I can trust this new situation, don't know if I can trust this person, you know, all that type of stuff. But I feel like there is definitely an energy of you can do this and it's all meant to happen for a certain reason, okay? I really, really love that, absolutely beautiful. The next card out we have is the Four of Wands, which is beautiful. So for some of you guys, you might be moving house, you might be um, changing up your environment a little bit, maybe changing around your furniture and things like that. It's also shown that you guys are reaping the rewards and you're getting balance for what it is that you're manifesting, what you've been putting out there. So if you guys have been doing manifesting techniques and you're thinking, okay, when is it gonna happen? It is coming, okay? You are gonna get what it is that you wanna manifest. And this is also showing me that your environment's gonna change. And it doesn't mean physically, like literal your house. For some of you, it can mean that your actual body is changing, which can mean that you guys are maybe just maturing from like a teenager to an adult, or you're going through puberty, or you're going into the menopause or something like that. It just feels like, it could be like hormonal, it could be something to do with your emotions, or it could genuinely be that you've worked on your body so much that your, your soul is having an upgrade and you're really starting to feel these new things come in. And it could be just energetically, you could feel much more energized, you could feel much more happier, you could feel much more just easier. Life is gonna get easier, I feel. And it just, I'm seeing, this is very random, but I'm seeing like people in a factory and there's like a conveyor belt and they're putting, there's boxes and they're putting things in and it's all very like the same, you know? So it kind of feels like you've been doing this for so long. It may feel like you're not actually getting anywhere, but over time, these things are gonna build up and you are gonna basically manifest it, what it is that you want. And it's kind of gonna come in this big ball, I feel. It's gonna be like, okay, if I'm if you're single and you're struggling with money, it'd be all together and you're gonna have a relationship, then money, and then boom, boom, boom. And also, if you guys have been struggling to get pregnant, you might actually get pregnant is what I'm hearing. And that's what I'm hearing about the relationship kind of in the environment changing. It might be that you get a new baby. And I'm not, obviously, this is a general reading, guys. So, you know, <laughs> this is just guidance. Um, don't take it too seriously. But for some of you guys, you could know somebody who's having a baby and you could be kind of involved with that baby. It could be like a sister's baby, brother's baby, something like that. Um, but it feels like your energy is changing as well, like your energy around your body and the way you see your body. It could be the way that you are taking in food, the way you're taking in social media, just lots of things. You're, just, you're detoxifying everything that is old to you and you're really revealing this new self and it's like ta-da like I'm seeing this like magician and he's like got a one he's like Boom. and then you know like those stage shows where people change their outfits like really quickly and they do like a quick outfit change it's like boom 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 jing and it's and then it's like she's got a whole new outfit on that's what I'm feeling you guys are having a glow up basically I never say glow up so for those of you some of you guys might say glow up and um, it also kind of reminds me of Cinderella where she kind of goes from like the the old kind of scraggly gross dress <laughs> to the really beautiful like posh dress but also both of those types both of those versions of her are important it's not to say that like oh before she was a princess you know it's like she was worthless it's kind of like she was like that and she's also like that but she's the exact same person it's just the way that she sees herself and also and that's a very deep meaning but it is very true you know like we don't have to even if we change our body we even if we change our clothes we are still the same person it all comes from our emotions and comes from that inside journey okay that's that's the most important thing I feel and that's what's really helped me in my life as well is really working on those emotions because that's what the root of everything if you can work on the emotions pretty much got it sorted and I've also got a video on this as well if you guys want to check it out it's to do with the 20 second um mantra and you literally just say it 20 seconds boom emotions are flowing so it's very very good so let's get some more tarot so let's see what else is coming for you guys group number three so let's just clarify that four of wands and let's see what else the uh, spirits and guides want to tell us about what's going on for you guys 
Oh, this is so beautiful. This is exactly what I was feeling. So you guys are just coming into your own energy. We have the Queen of Cups. So you guys are really, you're feeling yourself. I'm feeling myself. I got that Beyonce song. Is it Beyonce? Is it Beyonce? Feeling myself? I don't know, but that is coming in really strongly. So you might be listening to a bit of Beyonce. Um, okay, beautiful. Oh my God, we have the Empress as well, guys. Sorry, that dropped on the floor. We have the Empress as well. That is absolutely stunning. I love that. Let's get some more cards here. Oops, they keep falling on the floor. Okay, so you guys also might be um, connecting with a air sign romantically as well. If you don't know anybody right now, this person will be coming in the future and they are coming in because you're going through this big transformation and you're feeling like you're worth that energy, especially those of you who are single and really have been really working on yourself, like very consciously. We have the hermit in the reverse. This could also be upright depending on where your journey is. If this is in the upright, you guys are still kind of going through it. If this is in the reverse, you guys have gone through it and now you're on the other side, which is beautiful. Whenever you're watching this video, this is a timeless reading. So we have the King of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So you guys are really having a massive change. Oh my Lord, massive, massive change. So you guys are possibly manifesting an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could also be somebody <clears throat> who's working on a throat chakra, she says as she coughs. So I feel like for you guys, you're manifesting someone who's very mature, very in their own energy. And for those of you who are especially, especially manifesting a masculine or a male, 100% absolutely beautiful energy. Um, obviously, if you're not into masculines or, or men, you know, this is a general reading. So this can be a female or a feminine energy, but it does feel like somebody who's more masculine. Um, so if it's not a romantic interest, it can be somebody who's generally just going to help you in, on this journey. Could be a father figure as well, a father figure who maybe could be coming back into your life, or it could mean that this father, you may kind of adopt a new father figure in your life who's just a really beautiful energy. Um, and this is just really lovely. For those of you who are wanting a romantic interest, this is a sort of person who is just so damn caring. Like this person has gone through so much and you two have gone through a very similar energy as well. You've got, both gone through quite similar things in your life. And the Six of Cups is showing me that you guys are gonna manifest a soulmate. Like this is somebody who's from a past life. Okay, I really, really feel that for you guys. And the fact we have the Empress and the Queen of Cups is so beautiful. It's basically showing me that you guys have done the work you've really done the work and you've done a lot and you just you're doing a really good job okay so pat yourself on the back pause the video give yourself a pat on the back or put pat give yourself a pat on the back now just okay so next cards we have is the three of wands and the wheel of fortune so this is really really beautiful you guys are doing the damn thing well done guys this is amazing so okay so because you've done the work emotionally the universe is like right they're ready now <laughs> and you guys are going to be going forward so you might be I feel like I'm hearing chasing a dream and you're not really chasing it anymore. You're kind of just following your dream. You're following your intuition and which is ironic because that's what this video is called. Um, but it's also, you're possibly traveling. You're probably meeting somebody from afar, which is, this could be this, uh, air sign type could be somebody from another country, state town, could even be in the same town as you. And then you go traveling, but it feels like because you've got the wheel of fortune, it just, it feels like also you might be moving house and changing your environment. And with this Wheel of Fortune, it's showing me that you guys are going for a really big stage, a new stage in your life, a new stage is coming in your life. And it just feels super, 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 super positive. I love this. So let's get you some more cards. Let's see what else is coming out. Let's see what else wants to come out for my lovely group number three. Okay, so first cards out we have is the third house of intellect and new moon. Didn't I say for you guys you're going to get a message? I'm pretty sure this was this group. When I channel, I kind of, my mind goes a bit like mush. Um, but if you are, you might get a message on the new moon, okay? So the next new moon that's coming, I really, really feel that for you guys. Some of you guys, you could have been born on a new moon or a full moon. Um, but with this intellect energy, this is showing me that you guys are going to be manifesting a clearer mind. And you're going to be feeling like, you might also be researching something. You might be learning a new language, a new skill, a new hobby, it feels like a new you is coming in. So you may even be talking differently. You may even be talking like more powerfully, more loudly. You may be kind of really speaking your truth as well. And also you may be getting messages, you know, like love messages, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're really going into your power, guys, people are gonna be starting to attract you. And also you may get people who aren't so great for you and you're thinking, why are these like idiots kind of coming into my life? 
and just be aware that you're going to be attracting those in because you have that light and you have that strong energy and just know that you will attract the person that's right for you just be very clear of your boundaries and say no you're not the right person goodbye at leave you know what i'm saying so next card out we have is aquarius and we also have venus so you guys that air sign energy could be this aquarius that we're picking up on here so it could be an aquarius type that wants to come towards you somebody who is very emotionally invested in you somebody who really wants to pour their all into you pour their heart into you and really just be in the energy with you it's kind of like that i'm hearing i want to share my life with you that's what i'm hearing for some of you guys and for those of you who aren't wanting a romantic connection this could be somebody who is just around you you could be an aquarius it could also mean that you guys have really learned to have boundaries with your heart because aquarius are really good with boundaries a lot of the time they're very good with kind of saying no to things and being like no that's not right for me they are the movers and the shakers so for you guys this is showing me that also aquarius is to do with wi-fi and things like that with the age of aquarius things are going to start coming more into wi-fi and the internet and things like that more like communications through the internet and stuff um so i feel like for you guys you're going to most likely manifest a message from somebody from online it doesn't have to be online dating it can be social media it can be a website something like that but it feels like there's this connection is really really clear it's like you both have really good intellectual conversations this person is connecting to you intellectually and is intellectually stimulating your brain which is sexy, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then underneath the deck, we also have Leo. So you could be connecting with a Leo. And we also have Neptune and we also have Scorpio. So it could be a Scorpio you're connecting with also. I'm gonna show you the cards here. So we have Scorpio here with the beautiful transformative energy, which is absolutely beautiful. And then we also have Leo and Neptune, which is stunning. So massive amounts of like emotional changes. People are recognizing changes in you. So they may think, they may like to ask you and be like, you look different. Um, or they may say, oh, you like, you look like you're glowing or you look younger or things like that. I feel like that's a lot of those sort of energies that are coming through. I'm also gonna pull you guys another crystal card. I'm really drawn to it. So I'm really picking up on rose quartz for you guys. So if you guys are thinking about getting a rose quartz or having rose quartz around, oh my God no way <laughs> we <laughs> we have rose quartz oh my god that's insane oh my, okay okay this pisces moon's doing my intuition good okay right beautiful underneath we have topaz which is really beautiful increase your firepower stunning so if you guys are really struggling with your kind of your Mars energy, kind of getting motivated, that's gonna be really good. Any kind of like orange, red crystals, really good for motivation. Okay, so rose quartz, <laughs> that's beautiful. Okay. Who needs it? The overly self-critical, sentient spiritual beings who love deeply, those in the healing arts, or those who want to be. So where to put it? In spaces you want to zone safe and sacred, held with both hands to your heart with the utmost loving kindness. When to use it, when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out, to work out, to work the hardest, to hold it all together for everyone else. Rose Quartz gives us the pink cashmere covered platform to be soft, sweet and open to spirit. Take care of your heart. So this is really, really beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I love this. So this is obviously for you guys who have gone through a lot of crap and you guys just want to be yourself and you just want to be and feeling safe for those of you especially who are water signs a lot of water signs can feel very unsafe in this world i do feel like it's because they're just so damn sensitive i mean i'm saying damn sensitive because i'm a scorpio so i know how sensitive it is and how hard it is sometimes but i feel like rose quartz is going to really be good for you guys especially even if you don't have to be a water sign though to actually have this crystal i just feel like for those of you especially have quite strong water in your chart or you're very empathic, I feel like that's going to really help you guys, especially with your, your love life and really just connecting to and really figuring out who, like what you want to connect to, who you want to connect to. And also just if you're very self-critical, it's also very good as well. It's kind of like just nurtures you. And like it said, it's like a pink cashmere blanket. It's like a really cozy, nice, soft energy. And also for you guys, I have an image of you just really just being in your your bed and just being under the blankets and just watching a cozy film that you really enjoy and eating good food or eating food that's really crap but tastes good <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoy this video also before i go make sure to drink lots of water that's what i'm picking up on as well 
So thank you so much for watching guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. Also with my crystal shop, if you would like any custom jewelry, all the information is down below to get that. Just message me on Instagram or email me. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.